whether you are trying to conceive or you just figured out that you are pregnant or you are in your later stage of pregnancy you will be loaded with lots of information and advice be it your friendly neighbors or your best friend who has never been pregnant herself or random strangers they will come up with their expert advice that's why i am here with you in my 34th week of pregnancy i have done a lot of research and i have come up with week by week guide which has a lot of information about what to look out for and what to avoid and so much more i will give you all those handy tips that i have learned over the course of my pregnancy excited let's get started If you are trying to conceive, there are few things to keep in mind. Always take your prenatal vitamins. That will help you prevent neural tube defects such as spina bifida. Also, alcohol and cigarette are a big no-no. Exercising for 30 minutes is a great practice. So, if you find out any early pregnancy signs, go by home pregnancy test. Now is when the real journey begins. You will start to feel bloated, cramped, tired, moody, and you'll experience so breast vomiting and a fit will need to be. Get a flu shot. Pregnant women are at greater risk of serious side effects from influenza virus, and this is also a good time to get your journal or your memory book to record your milestones. Morning sickness will be worse now because of the increase of pregnancy hormones. You will constantly be hungry. And if you are feeling nauseous, try to have few small meals instead of three big meals. And there's a tip. Buy a belly band that will extend the life of your pants. Eagle or yoga should be part of your exercise routine. I have followed a lot of YouTube videos and i will provide the links in the description for you all at this point of time in the pregnancy you also experience heartburn so keep your antacids ready week 9 is when you need to get your prenatal test done these tests are important to check for genetic issues like down syndrome even today it is not mandatory to get these tests done in various hospitals in india but i am glad that my gynecologist recommended them to me she chose life cells prenatal screening program which has a complete panel of testing cravings also known as pica can reflect a deficiency in your diet so call your doctor if you are experiencing this use a moisturizing cream on the areas like hips stomach or thighs to avoid dry and itchy skin especially when it stretches and buy a body pillow for sleeping after the end of first trimester you will start gaining weight fast also it's a good time to start thinking about baby names you can start taking weekly pregnancy pictures also You'll start to feel your baby's movements and kicks in the womb. This is the time for your detailed ultrasound. Drink plenty of fluids, but avoid tea and coffee, which are diuretics. If you're feeling good, just go out, watch movie, have dinner, be with your friends, or do whatever you want to do. And this is also a good time to sign up for a childbirth class. You may have luck hemorrhoids or constipation so continue drinking lots of fluids and also you can include fiber rich food in your diet if you still need laxatives it's better to consult your doctor at the same time avoid crossing your legs while sitting for longer duration or standing for a very long time to avoid varicose veins Risk of gestation diabetes is high if you are above 30 or you have family history or you are obese. So it's better to get your glucose test done which will help you tell gestation diabetes. And this is also the right time to get more comfortable maternity clothes. 
Heartburn and leg cramps may start getting worse. You can prevent them by stretching your legs and calves before going off to sleep every night. Also, start writing a detailed birth plan and look for a good pediatrician during these days. This is the start of your third trimester. You will start feeling Paxton Hicks contractions and there will be little tightening in the abdomen at wearing intervals but you need to understand the difference between real labor and these contractions. Fetal kick counts are a good way of assessing your baby's health. Another thing is your fingers might swell up so you need to take off your rings and store them away. You should also discuss stem cell banking with your doctor. I chose life cell to properly store the umbilical cord as it contains vital cells which could be useful for my baby or entire family in the future. You might feel breathless due to the growing uterus going down into the diaphragm. So keep doing your exercises but keep the intensity low. You can also have weekly doctor appointments. If you feel that the baby movements have decreased, do inform your doctor. Take breastfeeding classes. You can also buy infant car seat which is compatible with the car harness. Make sure your doctor tests you for group B strep between week 35 and 37. Also consider having perineal massage daily in preparation for labor. Your baby might lower into the pelvis and making it easier for you to breathe. Though you need to pee more often now. Review your birth plan with your doctor and family members. Your breasts may leak colostrum. That's your baby's first food. If this isn't your first pregnancy, make sure your other kids are aware. Ideally, you should have your first two weeks planned out. That means your kids and your own food should be cooked and frozen. Also, you should have a ready supply of diapers and formula. At 38 weeks, you are full term pregnant. Keep your hospital bag ready. You need to go to the hospital when your contractions are spaced 5 to 10 minutes apart. Practice any breathing or relaxation techniques that you have learned. Also, consult with your doctor and your partner about cutting the umbilical cord. If your labor has started, Start timing your contractions. Keep cold packs ready for any case of emergency. If you are two weeks post your due date, most doctors will induce labor by then. So there you have it, a comprehensive week by week guide to help you through your pregnancy. Thank you so much for watching. Did you like the video? Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you can stay up to date with all the latest videos from Mom Junction.